because once you can recognize that if it is loneliness that is stemming or prolonging or any disorder, then you can, you know, work effectively to deal with that. Okay, so this part is about how I deal with um, feeling lonely. Um, I think um, the first thing is to learn to appreciate your own company. Um, you know, one may think that if you just surround yourself by people all the time, you'll never feel alone. <laughs> but I can tell you that I've been in social situations many times and still felt very alone because I just wasn't comfortable with my own company. Um, and I guess I do that by, you know, um, using the time that I have alone to, you know, do things that bring me pleasure and that kind of reinforces that, you know, being alone can be fun. Um, and that being alone doesn't have to equate to loneliness. Um, for example, I'm sitting here at home in my bedroom and all my housemates are out because it's Valentine's Day and they're wooing their women, so to speak. Um, but that doesn't mean I feel lonely, it just means that I'm by myself. Um, I'm, you know, listening to some music, I did some scrapbooking, I'm gonna watch a couple of episodes of Scrubs and just embrace the time alone. I think I'm actually not alone now. <laughs> um, and just feel that sense of being okay with being alone and using the time, enjoying the time. And I think that kind of builds um, some self-confidence, you know, you feel comfortable with your own company and I think once you get some form of mastery over that, um, it makes for a more effective kind of well I guess it makes it easier and you get more out of being with other people. Um, so um, could start online and, you know, I guess, you know, you could use this, um, collaboration to make friends. I'm always open to friendships, um, or you could become friends with some of the fellow, um, viewers. Um, join forums about interests that you have, like, um, back in the day I used to be a fan fiction writer, so I was, um, on a fan fiction, uh, <laughs> forum, and we chat all things fan fiction, um, this year I am actually going to join the, um, uni psych students um, society. We have a number of clubs at the uni. Um, and we have, you know, balls and dinners and do fun things. Um, so if you're at school or uni, look at clubs and societies and, and can use that as an avenue to kind of meet new people or even just hang out with people, um, or outside
lot of beauty if you're into, say, craft. Um, I know in Australia, Mooncraft, Spotlight, um, some of the smaller um, craft stores, they all hold, um, they hold groups or they hold classes, um, and it's a good way to kind of, you know, indulge in a hobby and meet like-minded people and you never know, you could form a really good friendship with someone from a knitting club, for example. Um, if you are into sport, um, join a social um, sport group. Um, we have a few at uni that I was considering entering but um, Unfortunately, the fees are kind of preventing me there. But, you know, look out social sport groups in the, in the area. Um, and I say social sport rather than the real competitive stuff because um, I find the social ones are not so intense and you have fun and you can meet people from other clubs, etc. Um, the list is really endless. Um, when I was younger, I did the summer reading clubs at the library and I'd meet fellow book nerds, which is awesome. Um, But with all these kind of social activities, um, to get the most out of them, you really do have to be okay with your own company and open to feeling that connectedness. Um, and I think by using those kind of groups that are outside the EDC, eating disorder realm, you can um, make friendships that aren't contingent on recovery, not recovery, or how you're progressing, because those, while really helpful, and, you know, going to, say, <laughs> um, you know, eating disorder groups is really helpful, and another way that you could, you know, make friends and meet like-minded people. I don't think it should be your only point of socialisation because I think it kind of ties you into, you know, feeling connected is only possible within, you know, eating land, um, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah. There's some ideas about coping with loneliness, um, and I hope you guys find it helpful. Um, and I'm running out of things to say, so I'm going to leave it there. And I'll see you guys 